get in for free? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Thank you, Jordan, yeah. right? Yeah, Jordan. Man. Thank you Johnny? so much for... Yeah, cool, absolutely. Man. Yeah, I'm excited, man. Dude, I'm so glad that you came. Wow. Yeah. So glad. Chris left the, the Blu-ray DVD oh, thing uh, at his yeah, house, so we have to wait for that and we'll wait for everybody to oh, for sure. show up, and hopefully he makes it back first. Um, everything that can go on will go on. Fantastic. I text him to tell me to let me know when he's on his way back. I do a little bit with about the comment cards and if you haven't gotten so one. That's perfect. That, that, that. okay. That's perfect. I'm just going to say, I'm going to wait for your swing a bit longer to see if anyone else shows up. I'm not even going to say that. It's probably going for my life. I mean, I haven't, I haven't. Um, they put these in the first year. Oh, shit. This is ridiculous. Thank you. Thank you. That's fine. I think that's awesome. Who's the DVD? Right over here. Uh-oh. I'm Dylan. Dylan and I are Randy Cornfield. I'm Johnny. I'm one of the writers. Talk to me. You're on your way? Okay. Cool. He's on his way back. Thank Christ. 20. Someone? Save the day, huh? Good to see you, Hey Chase, uh, we got the Blu-ray. Thank you all for coming. Gassy? Yeah. <laughs> Here I am. Um, we got about 15 minutes before we're going to start. Uh, does anybody that wants to fill out a comment card not have one? It's been a long deep breath since Night Watchers, a breath and long to keep. There's nothing I can say bad about it, but though I still feel this artistic tribulation nonetheless, I pace about the premiere in conflicted contemplation, perplexed by these immense feelings of doubt. My mind is a scatterbox with negative anxious tension, ready to burst and then implode, leaving me as a crack in existence. I'm around, but I'm hardly present, as I swig at 40% distilled elixir. Pursuing a calm of nerves and a peace of mind. Talk chatters in my ears, but I hear nothing. It's loud and obnoxious, a little sense about it. They dare not adventure out to mingle into the fray. It's much safer and easier to converse with the bodies you arrive with. It seems the crowd is in high spirits, as unto me. I retreat back into my classic despair. Every penny on pre-production and post-production and on a The walk from my car to the house is pleasant but short-lived. Time rolls by as I'm left to the mercy of my mind. 
mindless television remains black and broken. My trusty phone glued to my hand finds its place back to where it belongs. I fire it up and begin my curious search. All site platforms are mine and in the palms of my hands. Though I've been lucky to remain reluctant to such mind-controlling, brainwashing sites such as Instagram, still I respond to its beck and call. I have no immediate business about this foreign land, no responsibility, but my interest in others lacks creativity. It's cold inside and black and pretentious. I care not for the traditional daily escapades that is food photography and self-loved self-modeling. I search through nostalgia, looking up names to find familiar faces. Something must be here for me to become. But what I ultimately find is something that disturbs me on a whole new soul-sinking level. Schoenfeld. Katie Schoenfeld. I remember her. Something about her profile pic created a downhearted response in my soul. I remember her as one of the popular girls in seventh grade in whom banished me to the hounds of a lesser's. As a young boy hearing the words, like him, he's ugly, hardly blends well with a face-to-face -face confrontation and a point of the finger to go along. I click on her profile and up pops the rest of their ghastly, unsightly digital celluloids. I'm horrified. I don't remember her this way at all. Who is this girl? She's not the same person I remember casting me off as she once has. There's something darker to her now. In all her photos, death is her stare, bland is her aura, an invisible grip grasps her spirit. But I can't put my finger on it. Depression, illness, possible mental, drugs? It's gotta be it, drugs. Repeated comments from others on her photo posted back in December of 2016, her last post, quote, Hey Katie, we miss you. Wherever you are, we hope you're safe. I feel trapped. I, I'm deep in a hole. This overwhelming notion of rescue takes over my body. I, I, I'm living through anxiety. How should I now expect nothing less than a black pursuit of night? I'm unhappy more than before. I'm unwilling more than before. The only thing on to me now is to find this girl. I must find this girl. I must rescue Schoenfeld. So one of these bags has more money in it than the other one. Oh snap, so that's So I'm gonna mine. let both of you pick. $27.90 in one of them and $27.95 in the other one. We did it, guys. <laughs> yeah. We, we made, broke even! We made our money back. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, we also have comment cards. I'm thinking uh, I read half, you read half. What was your favorite part? The training montage. It's a great part. Um, what can we improve on? Lighter dialogue. By the way, they write like they're, uh, you know, six years old, and it says male 31. <laughs> All right, hit it. All right. <clears throat> this one, they gave us a 10. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> favorite part was the friendship between the two night watchers. What can we improve on is nothing. Beautiful. Um, Gender is female, age 59. Oh, okay. So, it's pretty positive. <laughs> Loved watching it on the big screen. Love mom. <laughs> <laughs> when he couldn't close his eyes after stabbing him, Good the run. filming was done very well. Cool. What can we improve on? Nothing. What was your favorite part? The cinematography, likable characters, the setting in general. Okay, so just the movie. Um, what can we improve on? <laughs> Favorite part, Johnny's eyebrows. Uh, what, what we can improve on, Grandpa's barn needs some work. Now that's, that's my cousin's wife. Bye, friend. All right. It's like a reality TV show. <laughs> Quite beautiful. Right. That's my babe. Yeah. Here's a seven. <clears throat> Favorite part, Jed's death slash dying scene. Oh. Really good movie, keep up the good work. Was very part, Jeremy and Keith scenes. It's everybody's part. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna write them in another damn movie. What we can improve on, it says just do it. So this one is from Shia LaBeouf. What was your favorite part? When Wolf kills the guy talking shit on the lawn. <laughs> 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 14. 
What is Jersey, it? by the way, they wrote Warlock, I would say 14, but... Yeah, that, that's that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, this one's a 7 and an 8, so I'm guessing a 7 and 8. What can we improve on? More blood on the sword. that we make a documentary about trying to track down and locate Katie Schoenfeld. Use everything that we've learned through filmmaking to create this missing persons advertisement. It'd be something we haven't attempted before, but we have the know-how and all the resources, so I'm not personally worried. The crew seems to be receptive of the idea, but I have to be honest. I was expecting a more gun-ho reaction. Dylan reminds me of all the projects he's already committed to, not to mention the Elevate Film Festival, which is sure to be a bust hosted by no other than local superstar filmmaker Jordan Bryant and Eric. It's manic, but only inside. As their lips continue on, they forget their words. It's silent and slow motion. This once horrible teenager is now swept away by an evil I just can't seem to begin to even try to comprehend. It just matters how thick it is. Yeah, and mine's thicker. Uh, Would you like to count um, hairs? I've already counted. How many? Too many to count. Mm -hmm. That's how thick. Mine is twice as many as yeah, whatever your hair is thin enough to be. <laughs> okay, so wh why why do you why do you have me? All right, here? all right, all right. I had I have an I I had and I have an idea. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but did, did another girl go missing? <laughs> I know we already we already tried calling her friends. What if we try to do it from his side, and if we can get in touch with him, and then hopefully through him we can get in touch with her. Does he have a phone number on his Instagram? Oh, I don't know, but I mean, I mean, I haven't really paid attention to that, but I'm, I'll look it up right now. We'll find out. Yeah. Tell me that is not Kate in the background. Yeah. I want to call you personally because uh, we. Uh, we were on. We were just. We were uh, uploading stuff to the Instagram and whatnot. I, I personally noticed a uh, a picture that you that you just did recently um, with a guy named At Papa Diem. I don't know him personally. I just know him. I know. This photo of her is everything. It was relatively recent and her strongest lead. At Papa Diem is a scary, wicked spider of a man that I assumed to be her boyfriend. He's commented on nearly every single one of her posts, things like, Hey, I miss you, I hope you're doing better, and whatever, blah blah blah. He speaks in uncertainty, which furthers my anxiety. We call every number that pops up through our search, but nothing. Then Dylan has an idea. He sets up an interview with a character named Cat Miggs, a YouTuber known for her cartoonish, outlandish ridiculousness. But if this somehow gets the word out about a missing show and film, I'm open to whatever insanity. Is it here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello, hello everyone. Hello. Hey. Come on. <laughs> awesome. How's it going? Good. Nice to have you. Good. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. I see we got yes. paperwork. These are oh. yeah, this is all of ours. <laughs> Alright, they're ready for you, man. Yeah, I can tell. And oh my god, Johnny's here! Johnny comes! Oh my god! Come, come, take a seat! Bye, Mr. Bye, Mr. Johnny! Hey, 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 but it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna play a game. You guys can remember the game? You guys can remember my game? It's mustache game! What? Ah! Have you guys played the mustache game? No, but I've had a mustache. Oh my god. Oh, I can see. 
Okay, okay, so I got it, I got it. We got some stashes. Okay, luckily there's only two. Boys, pick your two. Which one do you wanna be? We're gonna do some finger stashes. And we're just gonna hold, we're gonna hold, we're gonna hold. Okay, you know we're what? The okay, they're not gonna work. You know what, screw it. Oh my gosh, today's one of those days, you guys. You know why? It's because it's a full moon. It's a full moon, that's why, that's why. Okay, so you guys are gonna hold your stashes. Let's get to know Chris and Johnny. You wanna get it? Yeah! Oh, okay, okay, first question, first question. Uh, what is your favorite emoji and why? I don't really use emojis. I don't, uh, I don't do anything kind of like that. I know I'm a buzzkill, but... I so the poopy it. one? Let's get in to what they are doing right now. I'll go, I'll go. Yes. Well, <clears throat> right now we're doing a, uh, it's kind of like a documentary. Okay. Right? I used to go to school with this girl. Her name is uh, Katie Schoenfeld. Okay. Uh, lately, I've noticed she's kind of gone missing. What's her name? Katie Schoenfeld. Katie Schoenfeld, if you're out there, comment. <laughs> right, right. Wait, is she really missing? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, to, I, yeah, like, as far as Okay, we know. okay, so you came here to talk about, if, if Katie is listening, well, you, this is, this is your time. Tell the audience, so maybe we can share the show. Yeah, sure, I can, I guess I can yes. say exactly what I just said. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, let's give the message to Katie. Right. Wait, can I ask you, can I stop you right there? Okay. Um, is Katie a loved one? Is, who is she to you? Well, Do you want to propose to her? No. No? Um. Well, actually, honestly, I'm taking this pretty seriously, and I ask you to take this as serious oh, as me. Oh, okay, okay. So this is where we need, do we need the cops, you know, if we've got to get the message out there, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, right. So yes. I, I just feel like, I feel like, I mean, I, I don't know, I, I agreed to come on the show and everything, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I tried, I tried, I tried stressing to you just now, and I don't want to, I don't mean to call you out mm -hmm. on the show. No, it's okay. It's okay. Call call me out. I I understand. I understand. I'm just I'm one of I those like, people. I just feel like you don't though. I feel like you don't because I'm trying to stress something that's pretty serious and you're not taking it seriously at all. You you call have the cops. The... Call the blah blah blah. Well, let's get. Let's try to get out of here. That's kind of that's kind of BS to me. It sounds like BS to me. Well, this brings me to my next question for you boys. My next question: If you guys had superpowers, what would it be and how would you use it? Uh... Bye! What the hell was that, dude? You didn't need to be such an asshole. Me? Yeah, she was yeah. nice enough to let us on a goddamn show, and you just, you just fucking jerked the whole time. I was a jerk? He said I'm down to do the interview. I said nothing about doing some stupid little gag. Dude, I don't, okay. am I the you only know, one taking this know. seriously? Am I the only one taking this okay, seriously? Because no, no, no. Because I'm taking a, it seriously too. Well, listen here, listen saw. here. Because there's a there's a freaking actual person missing, and I feel like that's the thing that we should be focusing on. Yeah. And not don't making jokes about it. Then why not making you agree Johnny, to go on I, in the first place? Because I thought she was gonna make be serious about it. That's okay. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Look, don't get me wrong. I agree. We should take this serious. I take it seriously. But you, you how did you not know what we're about to get into? I, like that was I figured, inappropriate. Look, man. I, you didn't need to be I an figured asshole, that man. some of it was. I'm not an asshole. I yeah, figured, you no, were I'm not. Like how? You are. How? You know, how? Am I taking right. this completely no, seriously? This is bullshit. This shit, you've been such a fucking asshole, dude. Be since we started the show, yes. Film? Since we started this shit, you gotten so serious about it and been such a fucking asshole the whole time. Well, if you guys time. don't want to do it, then don't do it. I mean, if it doesn't mean anything to you guys, then that's fine. I don't care. I'm not <laughs> doing this shit anymore. I'm not doing it. I'm serious. I'm gonna need my camera. Okay. Yeah. So is this it for real? Like you guys are done? Oh, I'm fucking done. Take it. I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean... I'm not gonna put with I mean, you too? For real, though? You I mean you filmed the entire thing. You could have stopped it at one point. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, you told me to keep the camera rolling at all times and... Honestly, the, the way I'm looking at it is... There's a person... There's a person missing. There's a girl missing out there. We all, like, agreed to do this thing and try to find her. Alright, whatever. Yeah, alright.
ask you something. What? It's, it's been a while uh, since we've spoken to Johnny. Um, but do you think that we should give him a call and let him know about the promos? Here. All right. I'm Johnny. I'm Dylan. And I'm Chris. Come see our short film Night Watchers at the Elevate Film Festival on November 28th. We look forward to seeing you there. So you're going to make it out? To the festival? I'll let you know. Okay. I'll let right. you know. Right on. Hope to see you, man. For out and, Thanks uh, for videos. telling me. Thanks for telling me. It was dope. Represent. Yeah, cool shirt. Alright, see ya. See ya. Film festival tonight, man. How do you yeah. feel? Uh, I feel pretty good. Pretty good. A little nervous. Um, we have a pretty good turnout. Uh, we got everything up and running, and there's no problems or anything. So yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm very surprised about how many people showed up. Oh, hey, how's it going? Wow, yeah. you guys showed up. Del, uh, Isaac, Chris. dude, what? Dude. Oh, come on, come on, come on now. Wow. I watch yeah, it. Yeah. Chris, dude, what's going on? Dude. I can't even respond to my text. Dude, I'm dead. It's been doing? a while. Good, man. How are you? Good job, bro. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. All thank right. you. Yeah! <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's not a waste of time. It's something that I've been working on it. I've been working on it for this, this entire time that you've not been working on it. You've yeah. been going off and doing this thing. It's not, it's something, it's... Okay, but we, we, I found leads, man. Okay. I found leads. And I honestly, no, 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 I think you don't know, you don't know. Look, I know it sounds crazy, I know I may sound crazy, and I know I may sound frantic and everything, and I'm coming to this thing that, that I haven't seen you guys forever, but it's, I don't know how else to say this, I've, I've made a breakthrough. Okay. I've made a freaking breakthrough. And if you guys, if you guys have seen this thing, if you guys know what I know. What, what do you know? I found Schoenfeld. You started this with me. You started this with me. We started together. I mean, whose idea was it? It was your idea. I don't know. I don't know what else to say, man. I mean, I don't know. Johnny.
All right, I'll be honest. I'm pretty drunk as fuck, but we're here at the ending of the after party. It's 1 a.m. at Luke's on front. Thank you again, guys. Like, we had a freaking amazing time. And this is, like, literally the most funnest moment of my entire life. I'll be honest, I'm pretty tipsy, but I'll remember this tomorrow. I love everyone. Have a safe night. Hey, what's up, Donnie? What's up, Chris? Welcome to the kicker. This is my send off to you. Everything that I've accumulated about Schoenfeld, her Instagram, her posts, her poetry, her life on my wall in my home. Everything that she is is here with me. I know what she knows, she knows what I know. We're practically dating. I share with Dylan my new artwork, where she worked, where she hung out, where she lived and where she's supposedly living now. I've got it all and it's all verified. I met with some contacts who said Schoenfeld is still with her man, the terror of at Papadium. They told me she's been living with him for the past year, squatting in an old beat down shack of a house doing God knows what, but it doesn't matter. We found her. I found her. Do you have any questions? No. Good, let's go. This is it. This is what it's all been leading to. Boarded up windows, gutted, graffitied, forgotten skeleton of a house. There's nothing here and no one's home. Was this a joke? Have I lost my freaking mind? I followed this trail so carefully, so precisely. What have these walls seen? What do they know that I don't? Though the house in ruin and of chaos, I can't help but compare it to Schoenfeld herself disaster of a woman lost in shambles. It's as if this is her, dead where she lay, as a ghost. I can almost feel her. I can almost feel her. I don't know. I don't know. Everything that I, everything that I looked up said it was going to be here. Seems like a lot of time wasted. You hear that? What's up? It was like a scream, no? Uh, I didn't hear anything then. Oh shit. It's a dead end. Dude. 